The Senator representing Kogi West Senatorial District, Senator Smart Adeyemi, saw the former Kogi State Governor Shwaiye Babubaka and three others have demanded immediate cancellation of the just concluded All Progressives Congress primary for the uh, selection of parties' candidates in the forthcoming governorship elections. The plaintiff, in an interview with journalists outside the Federal High Court in Abuja on Thursday, where the suits were fired, called on President Muhammadu Buhari, the President-elect Bola Ahmed Tunubu, Vice President-elect uh, Senator Kazim Shetima, and the Arawa Consultative Forum to intervene in order to save democracy in Kogi State. Maliki Duru has more. In the suits marked FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 556 slash 2023 and FHC slash ABJ slash CS slash 557 slash 2023, filed by Senator Adeyemi and Abubakar respectively, the plaintiffs are asking the court to declare as illegal, unlawful and invalid the purported direct primary election said to have been conducted by APC and which produced Ahmed Usman Ododo as a governorship candidate of the APC in November this year. Addressing a joint press conference shortly after filing the suit, Senator Adeyemi described the purported primary that produced Ododo as a phenomenal rape of democracy and must not be allowed to stand if democracy is to thrive in the country. We want the court to look at this issue and verify the document before them. We have submitted both documents and visuals. And the good thing is, the, a national uh, uh, television station went around in the course of um, the election and reported that there was no election on their network service. That was the NTA. Apart from the NTA, there are quite a number of media organizations that equally reported that there was no election. Now, I do not see how democracy can survive when the people are not allowed to choose their leader. The governor of San Farah State, he was the one who was supposed to announce the result. Left because he saw that there were a lot of malpractices. You know what happened? On the day the election was, uh, was uh, announced, the governor was sitting in the front. So they were dictating to the, the so called secretary who came, Honorable Patrick, most unfortunate. He was the one who announced a result that never took place, election that never took place. We are asking the court that there was no, they should pronounce it as such. There was no election in Kogi, uh, for, for governorship uh, uh, in Kogi, Kogi, Kogi State. And this is our position. Also speaking, Shwaibu Abubakar stated that what happened in Kogi State during the purported primary election was contrary to the constitution and should not be allowed to stand. With election materials. Unfortunately, no election materials were provided and results, results were hijacked. Um, the government, in conjunction with the um, executive chairman of the local government hijacked the election materials. They went to a hidden location, wrote the results and came up with purported numbers. We're in alliance in the sense that in the sense that we're filing a court case together for the primary elections to be cancelled. You know? Um, and and there are five of us, there are four or five of us that are doing that jointly. So we plan to see this to the very end. We're, we're planning to see this to the very end to be cancelled. You know, the issue of Zamfara State, where things were not done properly, um, the APC uh, candidate was disqualified and there was no APC, um, you know, candidate for the general elections. The two governorship aspirants further claimed that Zamfara State Governor, Bello Matawale, who ought to preside and announce the winner of the primary election, left Kogi State in annoyance to disassociate himself together for the primary that characterized the primary election.